Now you may wonder what the heck is going on. And that makes sense because I'm taking a channel break at the moment and I moved a bunch of pack puzzles that I had recorded well in advance in to be my regular slot. And now I'm releasing something in my pack release slot. And that's because it's my mother's 79th birthday, well, around now. And people um, had found this out and have created a mini pack for my mum, who is a, she's a bit of a setter. We often set puzzles together. And some of those have been released under Maggie and Bremster, which you may have seen. Um, Full Deck are missing a few cards. I've done a few on the channel. Some have been solved on Cracking the Cryptic. They've been a bit all over the place. And Maggie enjoys sitting down and solving um, easier puzzles. She is a big fan of um, very easy puzzles. She just likes sitting down over a coffee and the two of us just working through something where we could just sit there and go oh there's this oh there's this oh there's this um rather than having to sit and pull anything um apart we do enjoy some harder puzzles but mostly we enjoy um easier puzzles so they made a pack of easy puzzles for maggie um and i will admit we have been solving them together um and i'm revisiting these easy puzzles so i'm not expecting to find any surprises in these but i wanted to share them with you so in my pack release slot i am doing the maggie puzzles over the next uh, six days so um yeah that's what you're going to see um because i can my channel that's what I'm doing. Um, it's also getting me back into the habit of recording a little bit. So, um, yeah, so we're starting with Maggie by EPH. Um, the pack will be available, links below um, where you'll be able to get it. Um, uh, as I said, warning, if you can't knock, I expect most of the people who are watching this channel um, will be able to knock out the entire pack in well under an hour, probably 30 minutes. Um, that's fine. Um, let's have a look. So, Maggie by EPH. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So, in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. The thick grey lines are thermometers, and digits along thermometers must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. So, this digit will be higher than this, this digit will be higher than this. And arrows. Um, digits along an arrow must sum to a digit in the attached circle. They're all of the rules. Happy birthday, Mum. Let's give this a shot. So we have a thermo that takes all nine cells of a box. So we know that, um, so yeah, uh, multiple ways of doing this, but this is a nine cell long thermo. So it has to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, if we look at this thermo, which is probably, oh no, we've got another one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight and nine. Now this is going to be incredibly restricted because the maximum digit we can put here now is eight. Whoops, this is eight. Maximum here would be seven. Maximum here would be six. Maximum here would be five. Maximum here would be four. Maximum here would be three. Maximum here would be two. So one, two, two, three. This can't be three. So this is because of that three. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, and this is one, two, two, three. Nine is in one of those two. Okay. Now, if we look here, maximum here is nine. Maximum here can't be eight or seven. Maximum here is six. Maximum here is five. Maximum here can't be four. So maximum here is three. Maximum here is two. So we've got a one, two pair. So one, two. So these are three, four, and nine. And this can't be three or four because five, six, seven, eight, because one, two, three, four, five, minimum here is five. So this is the nine, taking nine out of those. That was one of the possible places for nine, so that is nine. The four, of course, means that that is the three, this is the two, this is the one, this is the two. So this now had a maximum of three, so it has to be the three. This is four, five, this is five, six. But the five makes this the six, so this is the one. The three makes that the four, which makes that the five, and these are seven and eight. Nice, nice opening. Um, so M A G G done. M A G G rag mop. Sorry, sorry, mum. <laughs> she knows how silly I am. So let's do these triples. I don't remember the flow of these. We, I'm recording the we. There is a tradition in our family that when a present is made available, we don't wait for the event. I'm not going to go into why, but it is the thing. So we've been, we looked at these puzzles a while ago. Uh, three, four, eight, and nine, uh, wait, no, three, eight, and nine go into those. One, two, 
six and seven go into those. There's a reason for that tradition. Um, it's a sad one. One, four, and five go into those. Um, okay, that doesn't seem too restricted yet. Okay, so where are we looking? So, now this actually can't be one or two. So it's a minimum of three. Actually, don't remember this. Thing is, Maggie solved these puzzles and, and I was basically just watching and enjoying her. So I actually wasn't paying attention that much to what she was doing. Normally we work together, but for these ones, I kind of left her to, uh, to run the puzzles and I'm a little bit lost. So we know four is on this thermo, but this is a minimum of three. So this is three or four, maybe? I couldn't put four in any of those cells. So four is in one of those two. Because if I put four here, four, three, this would have to be one or two and it can't be. So four is in one of those two. So four is up in one of those two. What is going on here? Hang on, three, four, five, Z. Hang on, if this is a minimum of three, three, four, five, this is a minimum of six. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. This is six, seven, eight, nine, but they can't be seven or eight. So this is a six, nine pair. So one of these is, right, so six, five, four, three, one of these has to go six, five, four, three. If this is six, it goes six, five, four, three. If this is six, it goes six, five, four, three. So this is four, three, and one of those is five. And it's not that one. That's not the five. That's the five, which means that has to be the six. So six, five, four, three. Because if this was a six, what would I put there? It'd need to be between four and six, and I don't have anything. That's the six. That's the nine. So these are one, two, seven, eight. Now, this can't be one or two because it has to be between four and nine. And that can't be one or two. So that's a seven, eight pair, and that's a one, two. That's very cool. I like that. Not sure how to resolve it, though. Is it this triple I'm looking at now? I did warn you these were easy, or they were designed to be easy. Maybe this row? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Well, there's no one. There's no two, three there. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Well, I'm not putting nine there. I'm not putting five there. This is seven, eight. So this is eight, nine. And the nine means that's eight, that's seven. So there's no seven or eight there. These are five, nine, but the seven makes that the eight, which makes that the seven. Five, nine is resolved by the nine. That's the five, that's the nine. So these are one, two, three, four, five, one, two, six. These are one, two, and six. And the six is looking down saying, that's not the six. This is the one, two. This is the six. The arrows are going to have to come into their own soon because the thermos are now done. So what have we got down here? One, not two, three, four, five, six, one, four, five, seven, eight. Well, I'm not putting one on an arrow, on an arrow head because it's the sum of those two. If this was four, this would have to be one, three, and I can't make that happen. So it's not four. If it's five, it'd have to be one, four, which I can't do, or two, three, which I can't do. This can't be five either. This is seven or eight, giving me a seven, eight pair in the column. There's no seven or eight down here. There must be a five down here. Now, if this is seven, one, six is possible, two, five is possible. If this is eight, it's one, seven, Five, two works. One with seven would make eight. Four, four, two doesn't work. Four, six doesn't work. And four, seven doesn't work. This is not a four. This is a one or a five. Seven, one works. Six, one works. Six and two, five works. So mm, not seeing how to reduce that any further. What's this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Well, I'm not putting nine on an arrow because nine plus something would always be higher than nine. So nine is in one of those two. What's this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, three, eight. Well, hang on a minute. This can't be an eight because eight plus six would be too high. And that can't be a three. This is a one. If this is a three, the minimum would be three plus six, which would need that to be a nine, and it can't be. So this is the one. I have found the one. 
four, five pair. Does that do anything? Maybe. One plus six is seven. One plus seven is eight. Giving me a seven, eight pair in the column and in the box. So what are these? One, two, three, these are one, two, three, four. This is ramped up a little, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, four, five. But there's a four, five there. So that's a two. This has ramped up a little. So that's a one, four, five triple in the row. Wow. Okay. That's a one, four, five triple. So there's no one or four there. That's a two or a three. One, four, five. Does that reduce anything else? The one, two here, that means that's not a two. That's a six, seven pair now, which means that's an eight. The six, seven pair means that's an eight, so that's a seven. The seven comes out of there. That's now a seven. So that's not a seven. It's either one, six or five, two. The eight makes that a seven and that an eight. Oh, the four means that's not a four, which had been the case forever. The seven means this is a six, so this is a two, so this is a five. That's the seven. There's no five here, so this is four, this is one. There's no one here. This is a four, five pair. The eight means that's not an eight. The four means that's the five and that's the four. The four means that's the five and that's the four. This is a three or a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, three or nine. This definitely ramped up a little, didn't it? This is now, but the four took four out of there and this is a one, two, three triple. So that's the four, meaning that's the one, that's the two, that's the three. The two looks down, making that the one and that the two, taking two out of both of those. So that's the three, that's the one. The three looks back, making that the eight and that the three. The eight looks back saying that's not the eight. So this is the three, nine pair. That's the eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is six or nine. So this is, well, hang on, that three makes that the nine. So that's the three, that's the nine, which looks across making that the six, that the nine, which makes that the six, one, that better be a two. And that finishes the puzzle in 10 minutes and eight seconds. Yeah, really, really nice. The stuff down the bottom, so the cake at the bottom was much harder than the candles at the top. That's the way I'm going to call it. <laughs> Thank you, EPH, for the puzzle. Um, there are more puzzles coming if you want to get a sneak preview of what they are and honestly you will anyone who's solving sudoku should not have much of a problem with these ones but the pack is fully available um a link below but i am going to do five more videos because i can thanks everyone for watching happy birthday mum and as always good luck with your solving <laughs>